Hi, this is Benjamin, founder of Farm Again. Today we are in a farm uh, in Coimbatore district near Sultan Pit. It's a place called uh, Mettuvavi. It's a very beautiful farm. Um, it is an organic farm, but tech assisted. Grotron basically runs this farm and we have done things like subsurface irrigation for this coconut. Eventually, the farm wants to really get into high uh, yield and high revenue method of cultivation. Therefore, they have also planted uh, Glaricidia to grow, grow pepper in the future. Um, the kind of microclimatic condition you can see in this farm is unbelievable. And Mr. Venkatapati, who is the owner of this farm, has uh, taken immense effort for the last couple of years. And the last one year he is also traveling with us with this technology. When I saw this farm, I really thought we should share the knowledge uh, from uh, Mr. Venkatapati and uh, what we have done with the help of technology to the rest of the world so that there is some takeaway, some learning can be taken out of this so that you also can make your farm into a high revenue, high yield, high uh, productive farm. Hello sir, very nice to see you and very nice to see your farm, such a beautiful farm. Uh, just want to know, uh, I, I know that you had uh, water shortage earlier and uh, because of which we, you chose us to give you some solution. Can you take us through that journey, sir? I'm glad to meet you here. Thank you. For your visit. Thank you. Uh, for, first of all, uh, I have water shortage. Uh, it's a drought area, completely drought area, water shortage. Uh, now it is a rough of water. Okay. For uh, advice of uh, the technology, knowledge from uh, Okay. guidelines. Okay. Now we get satisfied with that. Nice. And you went with uh, subsurface and uh, artificial intelligence driven uh, irrigation technology, uh, yeah. which is Grotron, right? Grotron. Now, one question I have is, uh, when we initially suggested subsurface irrigation to you, were you able to accept it? No, no, I have not accepted it. Okay. First of all, first one or two years I don't accept and uh, not uh, interested for that. Okay. Uh, further, uh, we uh, take some uh, books, uh, knowledge and uh, artificial intelligence, uh, guidelines of form uh, uh, team. Uh, team. Okay. Uh, approaching uh, frequently, approaching me, uh, knowledge. Uh, afterwards, I satisfied and uh, I accepted. Yeah. Actually, Sir's journey started, I think, way back in 2019 or something. Yeah, late. And it took maybe more than two years for you to um, come to terms with the subsurface irrigation as a concept. And that is when you got convinced. It took yeah, uh, almost two years for two you years to for get convinced. Two so, um, you got convinced and I think in 2022 or 3 we actually implemented, actually implemented uh, the subsurface and the AI driven technology. Do you really see water saving? I really do. To, with the two years we only uh, used 50 percent of the water. Okay. It is sufficient to the plant. Okay. On the enough water I can uh, plant as to clear uh, area. Hmm. Other it is also uh, Take it to our sufficient waters. Okay. So your coconut water shortage issue was solved. Coconut and then additionally, water, additional uh, excess idea. water uh, from uh, to grow uh, from trees. Okay. Glaris area. Now I have prepared to pepper growth. Okay. It's all for, for that uh, water. Okay. Excess, no, no excess water. No excess water. No excess, excess yeah. water. Okay. So let me quickly explain this a little technically also. Uh, so for him, initially, the reason he came to us was because there was no water in his farm. He was not able to irrigate his uh, coconut trees every day. That was the original problem statement. But then we suggested to him subsurface irrigation with Grotron, which is AI assisted. Sir, sorry. It's AI technology. AI, AI technology. Uh, so with subsurface and this combination, what we were able to do. So essentially, when you do subsurface, you cut um, around five feet uh, away from the trunk along the line. Uh, end to end and then we place uh, here I think we did uh, 2 LPH 40 centimeter spacing emitters uh, pressure compensated drip system we place them about one and a half foot below the below, surface below the, like ground level. below the surface so what happens is uh, we are able to give water straight to the root zone where the active roots are present and because we lay the laterals uh, end to end the roots when they grow they grow um, in search of water across the length of the lateral so more roots, therefore more capacity for them to uptake uh, nutrition. 
Uh, the only uh, small glitch in this whole process is that when you uh, start cutting the land, basically you are cutting both sides of the tree, uh, cutting through the white roots. Mm. So there will be a stress the plants will go through for about three to six months. Now thankfully we have come out with some methods where you can reduce the period of stress. Unfortunately yes. when you went through that, we did not know the uh, after, method in which we can cut short the… After the pressure is uh, flat, uh, no disturbances. Yeah. Yeah. So first impact. Correct. First to be it's all only for the concrete. Right. What the excess water, water and the uh, soil content, we grow very and other Correct. crops, other tree planters. Correct. So when we did uh, subsurface, uh, after the three to six months of uh, stress, the plant started growing well and now they are better and but maybe uh, a year later it will uh, be even much better. Uh, within the six months, cocoa, Growth will come down. Come down, yes, definitely it will come down. Come down. Yeah. Afterwards, it will gradually go. It is enough to grow well. Yeah, and not only that. It will completely greenish. Correct. Uh, plant assets and yield is uh, I accepted to uh, what they last year. Okay. The actual growth, subsequent uh, yield. Correct, and uh, it is not only the subsurface irrigation, the technology. Uh, what it does is uh, it actually takes all the local parameters, soil moisture, temperature, ambient parameters and it does artificial, anal uh, artificial intelligence analysis and then it will irrigate only when it is necessary. Therefore, necessary, yeah. not only the irrigation duration comes down, overall water utilization comes down and because of which he has been able to go for intercropping with gl glaricidia, maybe next year you will start pepper, pepper yes. and there are also other uh, timber, high value timber, timber high crops value that you have planted. So, uh, uh, not only does this technology help in reducing the water usage a little bit, but actually it is substantial. For him, uh, before Grotron, before the subsurface technology, um, one well full of water was not sufficient for a day, but now the same one well full of water, um, he is saying it is not even finishing, it is not even finishing to half of its original level. So that is a, a reduction in water usage, but you can visually see the farm, how green it is. In fact, no one will believe if I say it is anywhere other than Kerala. Uh, it is. It has grown so lush green, and if uh, if you're able to reduce water usage by more than 50 percent and yet improve the area coverage, that's the beauty of uh, this technology. In this kind of grotron-assisted subsurface irrigation, there is another big benefit, a big takeaway, which is, like I said, from the trunk of the tree, about five. Uh, feet away, we dig about uh, one and a half foot and place the laterals. And because of which there is no evaporation. So where do the water go? They spread horizontally as far as possible because we give um, small but frequent irrigation as necessary. So there is a excellent horizontal spread of water. What happens because of that is that there is a beautiful air water uh, balance maintained uh, under the soil except a few patches everywhere else. There is, a, there is a beautiful spread of water and that ensures the micro life, the, the microbial life under the soil are uh, flourishing. They flourish and when they flourish, uh, whether it is for organic form or inorganic form, it does not matter. When the microbial life under the soil flourish, form flourishes. You can witness this, you, when you see the green, you know what I am talking about. A uh, lot of people might suspect uh, whether water will really stay underneath. So we thought we will actually dig and show you how beautifully moisture is maintained underneath. I would like to now show you um, the, the kind of root development that has taken place here, which is uh, typically possible only with uh, subsurface irrigation and how the air water balance is being maintained. See, look at the roots, the white roots, uh, the enormous amount of roots that too, um, about five and a half feet away from the trunk. That is where you are seeing this kind of uh, white root uh, growth. And also now let us see the, the, the moisture level of the soil. Yeah, can you hold it? You can, you can see that there is moisture and when you try to break it, it again gets back into you know, sandy structure. So this is uh, the condition called air water balance and this is a condition in which the microbial life under the soil can actually uh, thrive. Uh, I would also like to show you, see this is basically how we generally dig to lay the laterals, maybe a little deeper, about one, one and a half foot. And when we do that, like this, the roots will get disturbed. But then 
after we close them and start the irrigation the roots will develop again you can you can see that the roots had actually developed and uh, when they develop next after we are able to give this air water balance situation they develop very vigorously and that is what you are seeing here so generally there is a myth among people that you need to give 50 to 200 liters of water per day per okay. tree to coconut trees and because of which people actually form a ring around Zikra the trunk of the tree and then they literally Liter uh, open water. the tap, tap and fill it yeah. what do you think about that method sir i not accept it sir okay uh, i against that process and against that watering it's a enormous water surplus the tree only take a sufficient water what will we give you a fish excess of water and the rest will evaporate or leach evaporate or waste at the water okay so now that was a method you were uh, using earlier now you are going with uh, subsurface irrigation uh, can you compare these two and what what do you think about the current method first of all water saving hmm. i have only a uh, open well it's a minimum water but now it is a sufficient water hmm. otherwise that uh, plant is well growth and well nutrited for excess water there is no benefit correct water is uh, wasted the water it's a uh, evaporate or a dear by soil it's also wet at the grass and bacteria also hmm. load up okay so now uh, with the water you saved uh, in coconut you were able to do intercrop and additionally these developments i think this is about 4 and 1/2 to 5 acres you have developed hmm. and uh, this papaya i think about 1 acre you have developed the, all these with the excess water that was saved uh, compared to your previous method previous water the water level is the same hmm. but the irrigated is less, less. than uh, adapted to other crops also yeah. yes it's uh, developed for further acres yeah but uh, now that you have uh, you are probably using only still 50% of your uh, well capacity so i think you can also expand further expand source yeah the water level or water source is uh, same for last uh, before uh, for five years yeah but now the uh, same water the irrigated large amount of uh, acres and uh, crops correct so that uh, is a true benefit of actually going with scientific approach towards irrigation and technology assisted irrigation so this surrounding coimbatore region yeah. is known for excessive white flea infestation but i don't see any of those in your farm how do you manage that so we only give the sufficient water and sufficient fertilizer okay the flood in case of through tricks idu round round irrigation is the excess of water hmm. if you uh, excess of water we give you excess of fertilizer okay so that the attractive or greenish uh, uh, excess in the plant okay they attract the uh, pest. pest okay but uh, i have uh, cast or other parasitic uh, plants hmm. Hmm. it's also attractive to uh, oh. okay so basically um, the right amount of irrigation right amount of fertigation will control, control the pest, pest. that is one and second because of the multi cropping also the castor plant yes. you are saying the parasites will automatically develop uh, and destroy the white fly will attract that uh, pest ah. not affect uh, coconut or other crops okay see this must be logically correct because you go to the surrounding any to any farm you will see the plants completely infested with white flies but here you don't see any of them so this farm is a great example of uh, uh, recovering from water woes there was no water but i have not only water recovered shortage. from water shortage but i have been able to expand uh, into multiple acres, multiple acres with the available water well available water with multiple crops exactly and lot of farmers i am sure uh, in this region across tamil nadu across india will have the same challenge of water and for all of them i think this is one of the greatest examples um, uh, of of this region and of this time i guess now i would like request you to Uh, spread to the with your knowledge with your company tamil nadu and south india to spread the knowledge take uh, knowledge of listen from here thank you so much sir for your time thank you sir and again i think uh, we will come back okay it's about a, a year uh, from now and we would again like to show with your the, uh, uh, work to the rest of the world with the lot with the year we like to wish to the farm every time every day to come here and visit thank you sir Thank you thank you. thank you so much bye